Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. We've got an absolutely massive gameplay today and an expensive one of that. We have Joe Montana, Randy Moss, Lawrence Taylor, and Ronnie Lott on the team. Driver liking the vid. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Ernest for being part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, guys, we do have NFL preseason games on today. So, if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to match first deposit up to $100 and follow me over on Twitter for my picks. Now, taking a look at these cards, though, we do have Joe Montana. Now, I will let you guys know when it comes to Montana, I already checked. He doesn't have as good of a release as Aaron Rodgers, so he doesn't have the Rodgers release. So for those of you guys hoping he had like a crazy release, not really. It seemed decent though from the little bit that I did like a solo challenge with it, just test it out. Seemed decent, so we'll check on that while we play. He's got 76 speed, 82 excel, so decent wheels, you know, 92 throw power, 88 short, 87 medium, 87 deep. If you're wondering how I have his throw power is deep all that up, that's because I have strategy items. Now, his throw under pressure is only an 82, and that worries me because under pressure is pretty big right now, especially with more than likely we're going to play someone who's doing the loop blitz. So they're going to get in there, and I'm very curious to see how he does. But I'm also running Gambit for the X Factor, which is faster passes that can't be picked off by AI defenders. It pretty much just gives him faster passes. All you have to do is make consecutive passes for five plus yards in the air. I don't remember how many in a row, but definitely worth running that. And then for tier three, I decided to go with quick draw because you get faster throwing animations under pressure. Now I use this on Jalen Hurts and with Hurts especially, I noticed it because it's the first QB I used with quick draw this year. When you get the under pressure, it's just still an inaccurate under pressure. So Montana has worse throw under pressure than Hurts, but I want to see if maybe he reacts differently somehow. And then here is other abilities. Uh, tier two, this is what he gets. Tier one. And then also here are his team chems. He gets 49ers, Chiefs, and then also Legends. So you guys can throw Legends on him. Ronnie Lott up next. 86 speed, 84 excel. 87 man, 89 zone, 89 hit power, 6 feet tall. 81 change of direction, 87 block shed. I'm just going to let him roam out there, honestly, at free safety and see what he does. Uh, here is abilities, of course, X factors, whatever. I use a universal coverage on all three of my starting corners. That's why he doesn't have an X factor. And in terms of abilities as well, when I looked at my team and was trying to figure out what to put on him, I don't really think I have room to put anything on him that I would want because Acrobat, unfortunately, so this year is 5 AP. So definitely not worth that. Uh, here is tier two abilities and his tier one. Of course, you guys could throw something on him, you know, if you want to, but just personally for my team, doesn't fit in right now and then here is lawrence taylor with 85 speed 84 excel 87 block shed 88 power move he also has 89 hit power should be amazing uh here is x factors if you want to do something on him personally i want it on an outside linebacker you need to get three sacks get unstoppable force tier two abilities right here uh he does get some decent stuff like stonewall i've actually seen a lot of people running stonewall gets like run stopper demoralizer uh, if you want to run that i guess tier three though i'm going with unpredictable it's only one ap he also does get edge threat but that's four ap that's just a lot and then finally randy moss 87 speed 86 excel 90 deep route running 90 spec catch yeah, I am uh, very, very excited for Randy Moss. I do have double me on him, and then I'm running deep out elite. Now, the thing is, though, I'm throwing it on there because this is the first wide receiver that I've used that can get it, and I want to showcase for you guys if I can do it. But again, it depends on who we face, what defense they're running. Will they give me enough time to get deep to Randy Moss? We'll find out. He also gets outside apprentice tier two. I feel like some people here are probably going to run like short in elite or short out elite. You could also do that. Here is team cams. Let's get into it. So let's see what we can do. I believe that is my top three right there. And okay. He's got a good team too. All right. And as I told you guys before we got into this game, yeah, my opponent is doing the loop blitz here. So this is going to be very, very fun per usual. And we'll see if we can get Randy Moss though. He's one-on-one -on -one. Randy Moss going for the aggressive catch and Randy Moss all the way down to the 15. 6'4", 90 deep route running, 87 speed. 
And a beautiful, beautiful catch right there from Randy Moss. Once again, he's, he's got me one-on-one, -on -one, so I gotta try it. Moss! Can't come down with it. Listen, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, I've obviously got to try to go to Randy Moss. But third and ten coming up here. Let's just see who gets open. I'm not going to force it to Moss, okay? If he's not open, he's not going to get the ball. And I'm looking his way. We're going to take a sack. The first drive, we are going to take my three points here. Hopefully, I don't miss the kick. But we're going to take my three points. Moss made an incredible catch. Solid first drive, I guess. And honestly, having this duo of Randy Moss and Donald Parham might be the way that you have to beat these guys that are running this loop blitz. As that was just incomplete. Because if it's one-on-ones just all across the board and you have a 6'4 Randy Moss and a 6'8 Donald Parham, I just really don't know what you can do about that as, again, I think he just pushed back there. So he just tried to go deep to his Randy Moss right there on third down. And now let's see what we can do. LT, I badly need you. Ooh, I was right there, man. I was right there to make the play, but I need to see LT make a play out here. And also Ronnie Lott. We'll see what both of these guys can do as that's going to be a double move. And I knew what he was going to do there. I, I literally knew exactly what he was trying to do to me. He tried to run that little route combo to get me to actually go ahead and uh, guard the tight end on my double move. But I didn't fall for it. And now we're going to have Donald Parham right down the middle of the field. He just dropped it. Joe Montana just threw an absolute dot. And Parham dropped it. Now, I'll be honest. Maybe it was because I pass led there. I've seen some issues with that where if you, like, hold the left trigger to get that free form, sometimes that happens. It is very, very rare. But occasionally, unfortunately so... It does happen. On third and five, let's see if we can pick up this first down. I don't want to have to settle for three here, man. I do not want to take three points. I want to get into that end zone and Chris Olave back in the end zone for the TD. Joe Montana definitely making some nice throws out here. You guys are seeing that 92 throw power that I have with my strategy item. I mean, he's definitely got an absolute cannon. Uh, his release time, though, I mean, Rodgers is definitely quicker. So, I don't know. Personally, I think I'm still might stick with Rodgers. But now we're up 10-0. Let's see if my opponent decides to change it up here. I really want to see him try to run it to that right side. Be oh, that was a really good play action. I can't lie, really good play action. I completely fell for that right there. Second down coming up, though. Is he going to run another play action, or is this actually going to be... Okay, yeah, this is an actual run. This one is definitely an actual run and Mixon's bouncing to the outside now I don't want to use a Ronnie lot I kind of just want to let him do his own thing but at the same time if I can and if I have to I will I'm very very worried about ever leaving Randy Moss one-on-one -on -one. you guys saw right there I sent a crazy blitz at him not the loop blitz but a blitz and again I blitz there now on third down and 30 Let's see if we can play some defense here. I'm going to back people up because I know he's going to try to go deep here. And hopefully Lawrence Taylor can come in screaming. I'll be honest. I don't even know how LT got in there. I did not blitz on that play. I just sent four. I think he maybe just like completely ran around the left tackle there. I'll have to go back. Maybe for some reason the uh, tackle just didn't pick him up. But hey, I'll take it. All right. So second down. Let's see what we get. And I don't think Moss is about to be open. I couldn't even get the ball off there. I tried to block his blitz, and for some reason, the blitz just did not get blocked on that play. So let's just make sure we're making the proper adjustments. I want to go deep to Moss. I really, really do. I really, really want to go deep to Moss. And he's one-on-one, -on -one, so I've got to try it. Randy Moss with the catch! How did he catch that? I think that ball just got like bobbled there and somehow Moss was still able to make the catch. I don't know how he was able to, but Joe Mixon in open field picking up that first down. Absolutely beautiful play there from Randy Moss. I do not know how he was able to get that catch, but Joe Mixon breaking a tackle down about the three. Okay, so second and goal at the three yard line. I'm going to try to run this in with Mixon here and see if we can get in. We can't. So fourth and goal at the two yard line. I'm going to go for this. We might get Donald Parham. Yep, we've got him. Parham, back of the end zone. Get the catch. No, it's incomplete. So that one's probably on me. You know, I, I definitely did freeform that. Try to really get it to the corner so that it couldn't be intercepted. Worst case, you know, I, I just didn't want to get picked off. And oh, we almost just had a pick six from Ronnie Lott. We almost just had a pick six. We were so close to taking that all the way back to the house right there. All the way two yards back to the house. But yeah, we almost had a pick six. I'm there with Kyle Duggar and 
okay, I'm not sure what happened right there. And we get another stop here. He loves to go to the running back, so I gotta watch out for that. Oh, I got stuck on a D lineman. This is not good. Stuck on a D lineman, but we get pressure. All right, third down and 13 coming up. Can we get some pressure on the QB? Gotta look out for Randy over the middle, and instead he's gonna go underneath the tackle. My opponent is gonna go for this on fourth and five. Really no surprise, though. I would probably go for here, too, but Kyle Duggar, great play. So it looks like my opponent might have realized that uh, it's not gonna work trying to run that blitz on me. So I think he is changing up his defense here, and we might get Donald Parham. Parham? Yeah, we've got that. We've got that. Donald Parham to the outside. Montana with the perfect throw. Oh, we're up 17 nothing. It's about to be halftime here, and we're doing pretty good. And you guys can tell Joe Montana, he is very accurate. I'm loving the accuracy on Montana and also the throw power. Like, he's making some pretty deep throws, and I'm able to really just, like, lead them down the field because he has 92 throw power thanks to my strategy card too but we're up 17 nothing at half here and if he wants to go underneath honestly i'll let him i do want to see him try to throw the ball deep though because i want to see if ronnie lott can make a play we almost had a pick six with him uh lt already has one sack and well there's ronnie lott well he attacked the seam there big time play for him all the way down to the 38 yard line and he might go to oh He's going to go underneath, right, to mix in? I knew it. It's those under-pressure plays. I'm telling you guys, if you're under pressure, you're really not going to be able to do much there. And again, I tried to all-out blitz him and make a play on the running back with Ronnie Lott. I took a bad angle. That's on me. That one's definitely on me. You know, definitely 110% on me. I man-blitzed, and that was my assignment. And I completely whiffed on it. But Joe Mixon in the open field. Let's go. I'm going to start the drive off with a couple of runs there just to see what we could get. Second and 10, though, kind of want to go back to Moss, man. I kind of want to go back to Moss if he's going to be open. But actually, we have Olave just cooking over there. I'm telling you guys that Chris Olave card is serious. And Randy Moss down the field again. Moss just mossed him. Randy Moss is insane. I don't know if he's making adjustments over there to get like a taller corner on Moss or not. But uh, if he isn't, he needs to because... Whoever's over there is just getting absolutely cooked and tried to run him with Mixon. Second and goal coming up, and let's see if we can get this one into the end zone. And yes, we have Joe Mixon open in the flats of the TD. Andy Moss is just making some crazy, crazy catches. And you know, they did say earlier this year that height was going to make a difference. And you guys are seeing it here with Randy Moss. It looks like my opponent is about to get out of here. Joe Montana, 255 passing yards, three TDs. Randy Moss had what? like 150 yards we take a look at randy moss here we go to head to head he had three catches for 141 yards in that game and his longest catch was 64 yards two broken tackles as well i mean we only had three catches but literally every single catch was like a highlight catch that was ridiculous so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video randy moss joe montana lt ronnie light gameplay we got a sack at LT, didn't see much from Ronnie Lott, but Montana made some good throws, good accuracy, good throw power. I still think I'd rather have Rodgers with the release time, to be honest with you, especially with how, you know, the pressure is currently, but Moss, wow. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, check these out.